how to sell ebooks on Shopify digital product guide. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can start selling your ebooks or any other kind of digital product on Shopify and I'm going to show you guys how to do that step by step. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to shopify.com. Click on start free trial and you can begin your free trial on Shopify. You can skip all these questions. You don't really need to answer these. We're going to set up our store later anyway. So once you do that, we're just going to continue on and you're just going to sign up with email or Apple, Facebook or Google. And once you do that, this is going to be your Shopify homepage. Now in your homepage on the left side, you have a navigation panel and this you have your orders, products, customers, content, analysis, marketing and discounts, and then your online store. So whenever you are looking to sell digital products, the first step you have to do is if I go into the product section, click on add product and I add, you know, a digital product, there is no way where I can, you know, put a purchase only access on Shopify. And that is something people often wonder about, but don't worry, it's very simple and easy. So I'm just going to discard this right now, but, uh, first off, I'm going to set up the online store a little better. So it's, uh, you know, a little more presentable. And then after that, we're going to go on ahead and, uh, you know, create our product. So this is what our store is currently looking like. It's simple and easy to edit. So just click on online store over here and you will see you have your theme applied. You also have other themes you can apply. So maybe I want to add this theme over here or this one. So you click on add and this will add the new theme instead of the old one. And you can begin customizing that one instead. So you have quite a bunch of options you can pick out from. I'm just waiting for the new one to be installed. Or if you don't mind the old one, you can continue with your old theme as well. Whichever one you prefer. But I think I'm just going to continue with the new one. So uh, I'm just going to click on customize over here. And this is like an empty theme, which you guys would normally have. So the first thing you will see is your default logo. And you can click on edit brand to edit the name of your brand so you will be able to see if you click on edit brand it will show you default things so add a default logo you can enter and enter your default logo and if you don't have a logo already you can upload one uh usually i just like to add a sample logo over here for this but uh, you can easily build one using canva as well and i'm just going to edit this i'm just going to name this digital art and then i'm going to share click on download and download this as a simple png once i have downloaded this i can upload this to my shopify store i'm just going to drag and drop this like so select this as my default logo and now this will automatically be applied to wherever the theme requires a logo so i'm just going to click on save over here you don't have to do this but it usually makes you know uh editing your store a lot easier so I'm just going to click on over here, refresh everything. Now you can see our logo has been added. After that, you can click on your image banner. This is our first image banner. You're just going to click on change the cover image. You can click on select image, upload your own images, or you can select free images that are present over here. So I'm just going to choose a free image, but you can go on ahead and uh, upload your own as well of your own products. That usually is going to function better. So I'm just going to take this image like so now once i have edited the image uh, i'm just going to move the text over here so i'm going to double click the text and on the left side the text editor will open up so i'm just going to keep the text simple then i'm going to delete the bottom block i don't even need this so after that i am just going to go down and you also have overlay uh options so uh, you can you know um, edit those as well but now i'm just gonna go back after my image banner and i'm gonna remove all of the bottom stuff because i really don't need any of this uh, column stuff for a digital product website right now and you can choose to remove sections or add sections as you like so that is totally up to you but uh, you have your footer in the bottom and in your footer you can just add your quick links in your footer menu you can click on change you can change the menu and enter your own quick links uh, you can enter basic information and your mission stuff now after that you're going to go into your products page and you can see currently our products page is empty because we haven't added any products and you can go into the product section and see if it's empty now other than that if you go into your header 
and in your header you're going to be able to see your menu if you want a mega menu or a drop down menu that is totally up to you and then uh, how you want everything to appear can also be customized within your theme so right now i like it it's simple it's basic now it's time to actually begin adding our digital product which is our uh, ebook so you're going to go back into your shopify store and you're going to click on the search bar once you click on the search bar, click on apps and just search for a digital download. You're just going to search for a digital download in the Shopify app store. And this is the one you're supposed to add. So this is the first one that is going to show up after the ads. This is digital downloads. It has a black icon. This is the one that Shopify has created. So it works the most seamlessly with Shopify. And you're just going to click on add app over here. And you're going to click on install app. Now, after you have done that, uh, you're just going to click on add new product, click on add to your product, and you're going to add your product like you normally would. So our book name is clouds, then you can add your description of your book, and then you're going to add your media. Now in your media, I usually add just a cover photo of my project. So this, this image, which is the cover photo of my, you know, item. So I'm just going to click on current page one, done download just download the current page and whatever is like the front page you're going to add that in the media section because this is not where you're supposed to upload your actual digital file after that i'm going to enter the price then you can because this is the ebook i don't have to track quantity then below that you're going to enter the shipping information so over here you're going to select digital product or service and then we're just going to click on save and even in digital products, if you do have variants, you can add those as well. But once you click on save, your product has been created. Now, what you're going to do once you've done that is you're going to click on app, click on digital downloads, and you can just pin this to make it easier. But this will show cloud ebook. So after you've done that, you're going to click on add file. And now you're going to upload your actual PDF file. So this is my actual PDF file of my entire ebook. And you're going to upload this so when people have paid for it then they will be able to access this digital file and once the file has been added so you can click on uh, fulfillment automatically send filed or manually send file i want to automatically send it and you can also do a download limit so i want a max download limit of two every time someone purchases this and click on publish and now our shopify store has all been set up so if i click on my e-commerce store over here so I'm just going to apply the new theme because I did change the themes. I'm going to go into my online store and I'm going to click on publish, publish. So the new theme has now been published, hopefully. Yeah, so you can see this is our website. And if I click on the catalog, I can see my ebook. This is just a preview of the ebook. And once I click on buy it now and I purchase it, I haven't set up my payment, but uh, once I click on buy it now, I'm able to access the entire thing. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.